Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. So I'm back with my concluding review video of these Lion Energy Safari UT batteries. This is the 1200 model. And uh, I've done a bunch of different videos in uh, preparation of my review. I did an install video. There was the initial video where I uh, showed you the features of the battery. I um, also did some discharge tests and charge tests. So kind of done a thorough uh, testing of the battery. I've also used it for, for over a month here um, in the RV park and also disconnecting some of our, uh, our chargers. So I'm using it kind of simulating a boondocking experience. Not really in boondocking mode right now. We're kind of spending the summer in the RV park, but I've gone through all the tests I can do and I'm back with my overall impressions of the, of the battery. So we'll go through the many pros I've discovered with it. The lithium batteries have a lot of advantages over the old lead acid type. First is weight. Now this battery comes in at 20.9 pounds and it's a 12 volt 90 amp hour battery. So it's comparable to two uh, golf cart batteries. Uh, which two of my golf cart batteries would weigh 62 pounds each, so 124 pounds is replaced by something that's only 20 pounds, basically. So that's a huge advantage of the lithium over what I've been using in the lead acid. Um, another terrific advantage is I don't need to bring this to 100% charge all the time. It, it's quite happy to sit at, say, 70% charge or 80% charge. Uh, versus my lead acid that I was always fighting to get them 100% charged just to give them a nice long lifespan. If you don't charge them up consistently, they'll, the plates will start to sulfate and you'll have reduced performance and lifespan. Not true with the, the lithium, so that was a nice perk. Also, it has a, a super uh, charge rate. You can charge these at a maximum, I think it's 100 amp hours, or 100 amps you can put into these. And I did that test, and sure enough, it, it took 100 amps. They, they recommend a charge rate of 50 amps, which is still very impressive for, for a single battery, a 90 amp hour battery. Also, the discharge rate. Sorry, we got a float plane landing. Right by a marine airport. So these can be discharged at 150 amps, which is huge for this little battery. Get 150 amps out of this thing. Um, just amazing for the size. So that was a, a real uh, big plus for this battery is 150 amps continuous. And I did a test proving that I, I will let it go at 150 amps right from 100% down to, to totally depleted and it, it handled it no problem. It can also handle 250 amps for around a minute and even a peak of 900 amps. So very impressive uh, amp discharge rate. So if you're running high wattage appliances through an inverter, the lithiums really have a big advantage over the lead acids there. If you try to pull big amps out of a lead acid, you get this kind of effect, uh, Perkard effect, where uh, where it um, loses capacity the higher higher amps you take out of it. So if you discharge it, say, 5 or 10 amps fairly slowly, you'll get your capacity out of the lead acid. But if you start pulling 30, 40, 50, 100 amps, you'll lose capacity. The lithiums don't suffer that at all, so that's one big advantage to them. Another advantage of these batteries is they can just be put on a shelf um, say you put your RV in storage, you can leave it in there, or, or say you pull it out and put it on a shelf for six months or a year, you come back and it hasn't, it hasn't lost its charge. This, is a, this one has a shelf life of two years. Um, unlike the, the lead acid batteries, a lot of times you have to put them on a trickle charge or something to maintain them. These, these you just uh, unplug them, put, make, I think you set them for around 50% charge, then you stick them on a shelf, you come back and they're, they're ready to use again. So that's a big advantage, especially if you're storing your RV a lot, using it for say six months, snowbird trip, coming back and, and storing them, get a lot, of, a lot of life, not much maintenance at all. 
Um, they have no fumes at all. They don't off gas. They can be used in any direction. So if you want to mount them like this, that's fine. If you want to mount them like this, that's fine. Whatever orientation you want. So that's a, that's a nice perk. And you, so you can have them inside the RV. You don't have to have them out in a special bay or anything. You can set them up somewhere in a closet. They're quite happy. Two more features I like are the carry handles. That's kind of a nice touch. Makes it easy to move it around and set it in the bay. And also on this one they have a, a little readout on it so you can push a button and it tells you 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, 100%. So it's a little charge indicator. Press it and quickly it'll, it'll tell you the state of charge of it. Also, the Lion Energy, you can, uh, you can wire them in parallel or you can wire them in series. So some companies you can't put them in a series connection. So you can take four of these and uh, wire them in series for a total of 48 volts. Um, or you can, like I'm going to do with mine, I have three of them. I wire them in parallel so that they maintain a 12 volt system. But uh, that's a good perk. Also, these uh, type of lithium batteries are using the, the lithium iron phosphate uh, chemistry, which is one of the safest, safest out there. A lot of people hear about uh, fires with lithium batteries, especially in phones or skateboards, hoverboards, whatever, suddenly bursting into flames. Uh, they're using a, a different type of chemist, chemistry. There's different uh, lithium chemistries. These use iron oxide um, phosphate, the iron phosphate, so uh, they're very safe. They're actually hard to even catch on fire, so that's one, uh, one good thing because I didn't want to put uh, uh, an unsafe battery in my RV and have it burn down or anything, but I feel pretty confident that these are going to be no problem. In a lot of ways, they're safer than lead acid. Lead acid, you know, they can off gas and build up uh, hydrogen gas and then all of a sudden you get a spark and it can actually cause an explosion so not 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 a problem with these are quite safe that way and they also have a very sophisticated battery management system built right into the the battery so uh, uh, last video I took them apart and showed you the cells inside but I also showed you there was a, a fairly uh, a complex board in there that's running all the the systems inside so there's four cells but then to take care of safety wise and to balance the cells and keep everything running right uh, there's a battery management system board and it uh, does a bunch of different things it'll it'll shut the battery down if, if, if it's getting too cold or too hot uh, it'll shut it down if you before it overcharges or undercharges uh, it'll shut it down if there's too much current flowing into it um, just all sorts of things that it'll, it monitors and shuts it down to protect the, the cells. So that's why they're kind of called a, a drop-in replacement or a plug-and-play. Uh, a lot of DIY guys will buy their own cells and then they'll, they'll buy an aftermarket uh, the battery management system and they'll wire it all together and they can save themselves some money but this is sort of designed at people who don't want to be, mess about with batteries. They can just buy one convenient package all, all designed and made for them. Uh, the company Lion Energy is based out of Utah, so it's a, a U.S. company, although the, the, the cells are Chinese cells, which is basically the case with almost all lithium batteries now, but felt pretty good that they were a company that is based in the, in the U.S., and you can phone them up and talk to them. Okay, so that's all the glowing pros and advantages of the lithium battery and the Lion Energy battery. So let's get to, to some of the negatives. There's always negatives to things. Number one, and this is with most people, is the price. So these things have a manufactured suggested list price of $999 US, 12 volt, 90 amp hours. So that's a pretty hefty price on a battery. Um, basically, it will re replace two lead acids, but you know, you can get two golf cart batteries um, probably for about $300, two quality ones, so that's quite a difference. They're basically three times the price of, of a comparable lead, ad lead acid. Supposedly, though, they're going to last much longer than a lead acid. The average lead acid has around five, six hundred cycles in it, where these mm -hmm. are guaranteed for 3,500 plus cycles. So. 
if you have them long enough you're going to get your money it's going to pay back along the way but still that's quite a quite a hefty upfront cost to eat um, they do have uh, see them advertised all over the internet from their dealers at $7.99 so they have their list price but basically you can get these at $7.99 in fact I have a they gave me a code for for my viewers to use if they buy them on the line energy site and you can get them for $7.99 so basically the the price is $7.99 which is pretty competitive for most of the drop-in replacement type batteries that are out there right now um, another negative that uh, is kind of a the warranty a lot of these companies have these kind of vague warranties they these ones they call it limited of course limited lifetime warranty and at first you think okay uh, these are good for my lifetime if anything goes wrong I'll just send them back but when you read the fine print that's not the case basically they're saying they warranty the, the, the lifetime of the battery cells in there and they give a, a, a quote of a lifetime of a battery cell is uh, 3500 cycles um, or 80 percent capacity so there's a couple different ways they can measure that so it's kind of a little bit vague in a way it's not a hard um, time period or anything like that so they do leave themselves a little bit of wiggle room there um, another negative to the battery is low temperature charging um, if it, once they hit freezing the BMS will shut them down and, and they won't accept a charge so if you're spending a lot of time in extreme cold weather they might not be for you or you're going to have to come up with ways to keep the battery warm either put them inside and heat your inside or some kind of battery heating pad or something like that so that's one negative lead acid suffered from low temperature problems too they would lose capacity under low temperatures also storing these you're going to want to you're not going to want to store them at higher higher charges and in extreme temperatures from what i read that can uh, kind of age the cells as well so a couple negatives there not biggies but uh, something to, to keep in mind um, for me i'm a snowbird so i'm here in the summers i'm in bc and then we head south in the winter so i shouldn't have many temperature problems but it's a consideration if you do spend a lot of time in cold climates um, another negative is go and you spend say you're going to spend you know 800 bucks for one of these is the technology going to change fast like technology is changing fast right now there's always new new things coming out new chemistries um, and also uh, uh, will the prices drop but basically from the research I do it's it's not likely because they use the lithium and different rare earth minerals to make that and they're they're sort of in short supply with all these electric cars coming on to the market there's a lot of demand from them but you never know like with technology you could spend eight hundred dollars and a year later they're at five hundred but that's kind of the risk you take with all technology these days so there you go that's basically my conclusions um, I'm going to take these south this winter and uh, test them for all our boondocking and I'll, I'll have an update video after using them you know many months boondocking and let you know how they performed just by my limited tests so far and judging by what I read I'm going to be awfully pleased with them um, and uh, disclaimer I did get these given to me for free for the review they, they sent them out free of charge so I didn't pay for these um, they didn't give me any money or sponsor me in, in a monetary way for this review they just said we're gonna send these batteries to you and all they really asked me for was a, an honest review and feedback on their battery they didn't really demand much of me as far as how many videos I needed to do and, and stuff like that so Overall, I thought they were a good company to deal with that way. But I just want you to know up front, I did get these for free. I didn't buy these myself. So, of course, the review is going to be biased in that way. But uh, I'm going to try to be honest. And uh, we'll, if there's any problems that crop up with them um, as I'm using them, I'll definitely be sure to let you know. So, um, I'll leave a, a link in the description below to the um, playlist. Um, I've done, like I said, done nine videos on them so far because I, I wanted you guys to have lots of information on these batteries before you go and put out your uh, big bucks on buying, buying lithium so you can have as much information as possible. So link will be in the playlist 
or a link will be in the description for the playlist. And until next time, it's Ray from loveyourv.com. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. You really appreciate it. Cheers.